Mike in Quebec writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, I have recently picked up a New Wave DAC. For those of you that don't know, the New Wave was an older line that we had of half-size half, half size chassis. They were, it was a great line, um, which is an astounding addition to my setup. Good job. In fact, at 51 years of age, I am now comfortable hanging up my chain mail and set it, selling my horse as my request to find the Holy Grail has come to an end. <laughs> I love it. I don't think my system could sound any better now with the addition uh, after the addition of the new wave. My question is this. Do you recommend using any USB line conditioners such as the AQ Jitterbug and or the Uptone USB? PCB adapter, dongle, <laughs> or does the new wave account for what these claim to do at its input? Thanks in advance, and many thanks for creating the new wave for me, Mike. Well, Mike, I'm glad you put your chain mail away and your sword. <laughs> ah, what a great bunch of people. I, okay, the USB jitter taker outers, noise reducers, resamplers, they do work. Absolutely. I, I use personally on the system that we have at Octave Records for when we play back something through the computer and I have to use USB, I use the Matrix. The Matrix, I think it's like 500 bucks. It's kind of expensive, but it, it's basically a USB reclocker and it absolutely makes a big difference. The new wave is a great DAC. The problem that you might find is that while it's a really great DAC and would benefit from cleaning up the USB signal, because USB, two-way communication, kind of noisy, connects you up to a noisy computer, and there's not much you can do about that except adding some of the, the reclockers, which doesn't get rid of all the noise because you're still connecting up with grounds, etc. but it can be very effective, is the level of effectiveness is going to be based on the quality of the DAC. And the new wave is a very good DAC, and you will hear a difference. The magnitude of that difference is going to depend on the quality of the DAC. And so the reason I say all this is the direct stream Mark II is going to have, well, it doesn't need it. Let's take the, because that's all built in. But let's take its, its earlier brother, the direct stream Mark I, which didn't have galvanic isolation, which didn't have all this noise reduction stuff. The magnitude of difference using a USB reclocker uh, compared to the magnitude of difference on a, uh, using a USB reclocker on a new wave is going to be, you know, this to this. But, that said, I, if you can get one at a fairly low cost, I would absolutely do it. But do find someone who will work with you on a buyback guarantee. I, I don't think home trials should really happen unless you have the ability to return something if it doesn't really float your boat. So that's my best advice, okay? Good luck with that and thanks. Thank you.